Beauty World Award Middle East will pay tribute to those companies and individuals for their excellence, outstanding performance, vision, and achievements across the region. We celebrate our most creative marketeers, exceptional products, amazing innovations, and industry game changers. We recognize our artisans, thought leaders, and those at the very top of their profession. This awards week will acknowledge the beauty industry's immense creativity, hard work, and continued commitment to excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Beauty World Middle East Awards Week 2020. I'm Rami Nabil and I'm delighted to be back again for day two. This is the first edition, so we hope you enjoy it and see it as an introduction to better and bigger things to come for the team here at Messi Frankfurt. But before we start, I'd like to remind you of the winners from day one, as you can see it on screen. Day one's focus was marketing and innovation. And we had four categories. Category number one, marketing campaign in finished product. The winner was Herbal Toothpaste, Strong Teeth, Strong Ambitions by Dabur International. Category number two, marketing campaign in retail, salons, and spa. And the winner was Show Your Nanny Some Love by THT, That Hair Though. Category number three, Innovation and Beauty. And the winner was Soy Plant-Based Polish Remover by Terra Beauty Bars. And category number four, Innovation and Fragrance. The winner was Parfum de Soin Turquoise by Altiara Bio. Today, being day two, you will see that our awards focus is exceptional products. And it's divided into five categories. Natural product in fragrance, natural product in beauty, niche product in fragrance, and niche product in beauty, and last but not least, cult classic. And of course, we're gonna have some exciting interviews. We'll also be revealing five new award winners today, so stay logged in. And if you'd like to congratulate your peers or comment on the proceedings, please use the hashtag, hashtag BeautyWorldMEAwards, read as hashtag BeautyWorldMiddleEastAwards that we'll be using throughout the day. Right now, we'll be hearing from our second industry expert representing Henkel Brands. Henkel has been around since the late 1800s and has been able to grow a global brand through all kinds of environments. We talked to Malik Dardur, the regional cluster head in beauty care retail for Henkel GCC, MIA expansion, Morocco, Egypt, and Lebanon. And I believe Malik is joining us right now. Hi, Malik. Our first question for you is people, brands, and companies are key assets for any product. So from your own point of view, what makes an exceptional product? Thank you, Rami, for this uh, excellent question. And to you and to the audience, very warm welcome from uh, my side. I'm very honored to be part of the Beauty World Awards 2020 here with you. For me, an exceptional product is a product with a particular quality, usually a good quality to an unusually high degree. A product must know its sweet spot, simplifies its complexities, stands for something real, uses design to maximum differentiation and produces maximum engagement. Looking at people that come to my mind, uh, this year I could only think of Greta Thunberg. How can an adolescent of 16 years old uh, drives the world and inspires it to a degree of exceptional level that personally really touched me deep? Products and companies uh, you've mentioned, uh, I can only think of the beauty industry. We must be, be proud of what has been achieved. Uh, we must be seen as exceptional. We must be proud of all what we have accomplished for our customers and consumers every day this year. As we all know, this year was quite challenging. However, there must be a trend that caught your attention. What was it and why? To be honest with you, there were a lot of readings. Of course, everyone was confined. So many releases uh, came on the beauty industry. I would say clean beauty was one of the first uh, most uh, you know, um, trends that really caught my attention. I think we are not there yet in Middle East uh, Africa. However, this trend will come very fast. And look at uh, superfood beauty. I mean, you see products, they are coming, really mixing the two industries, food industry, beauty industry, nourishing skin, hair, food, hair food, etc. So I think here uh, there is something to explore further in Middle East Africa. And looking then at the last trend that really interesting uh, uh, to all of us, and I think will be explored further, is like 
you know, in the day, there are 24 hours. But most of that, uh, also, we are sleeping. So sleep beauty is the next big trend I think we need to be taking care of. I will take an example outside the industry so that I really don't make jealous, you know, peers here around. PepsiCo will launch Drift Well to help us sleep better in 2021. And I think this is something we need to be really taking care of in the future. And what was Henke's highlight of the year 2020? Yeah, I think 2020 really was a revelation to all of us as employees in Henkel. Henkel really uh, stood up against the crisis as a family company. Henkel took care of, our, of us as employees. We have been extremely attentive to the health and the well-being of each uh, you know, employee around the globe. We launched uh, also a vast uh, campaign under the theme of We Care, We Act globally. And as part of our comprehensive global solidarity program, we shifted production facilities to produce disinfectants that have been also donated you know, to uh, hospitals and also communities around us. This is what makes Henkel different and also inspiring. Do you have any advice for beauty companies in order to have a successful 2021? In my point of view, very important will be consumer and customer centricity. Because if we will not be really attentive to their, uh, you know, aspirations and aspirations, we're not, uh, we're not going to be winning in this, uh, uh, you know, market. And, you know, uh, customers will definitely have to adapt to the new realities we are today confronted with. Consumers as well are changing behaviors. So th there we need to be very attentive. The other thing that uh, will make beauty companies successful is to be leading with purpose. Consumers are not any longer looking for products per se as such. Consumers are looking at brands that have purpose, that are changing the world to a better world. And this is exactly where all beauty industry uh, companies need to focus on, leading with purpose for the brands, for the companies, for their employees, for the customers. Thank you, Malik, for your valuable insights and wish you a successful 2021. Thank you very much, Rami. The awards are a result of a collaborative effort. We were so lucky to have judges from the industry with a varied background in order to help us picking our winners. This year, we filmed the judges while they were deliberating. Let's take a look. And now to the award categories, starting with natural product in fragrance. We have all been witnesses to the power of nature. Consumers have been embracing natural and organic products for years. This award category will reward the best fragrance with an organic, sustainable or cruelty-free certification. Here are our finalists. Gambrum Natural Fragrance by Végétalement Provence. Queer Curcuma by Affinescence. Bulgarian Rose Oil, 7 ml with protected geographical indication by Bulgarian Rose PLC. The judges will be looking at the quality of the certification and differentiation to select the finalists. Let's hear from them. All the products were very interesting. Um, I think sustainability and naturality is really key. Uh, is more than a trend. So today, um, it's really important to find uh, products, ingredients that are very uh, good quality because it's going to bring something completely new to your fragrance 
and uh, it's going to bring something different. So naturality and sustainability um, is really key. It's more than a trend, uh, it's here to stay. And now, the winner is Bulgarian Rose Oil 7ML with protected geographical indication. Congratulations to Bulgarian Rose PLC. And please share your online love using the hashtag BeautyWorldME Awards. I believe that the team has made sure that we have them online, so let's take a look. Dear jury, allow me on behalf of uh, Bulgarian Rose PLC to thank you for this great honor given to us. I'm sure that the decision wasn't easy because uh, the other contestants have their advantages too. I also would like to thank to our chief executive, Mr. Spasvidev, as well as Ms. Buriana Kraleva, Procurator of Bulgarian Rose PLC. They both have taken this uh, decision to submit our application to Beauty World Middle World Award. And, uh, this led to this day. As you said earlier, consumers love natural beauty products. When done right, they can't get enough. In this awards category, it will be natural product, but for beauty. While the judges will be looking as well at quality of ingredients, quality of the certification, differentiation concept, in addition to packaging design and sensory reality. To select the winners, our finalists are Evercalm Global Protection Day Cream by Ren with packaging by Uptar Beauty Plus Home. Floral Infusion Multitasking Oil by Terra Beauty Bars. Kester Black by Kester Black. Black Gold Karub Superfood Mask by Kipwell. Sienna X, the facial oil by Sienna X. Time Revolution Artemisia Treatment Essence by Mischa. A solid list of finalists means the judges had to go through several discussions in order to move forward with a winner. What did the judges think? Here is a short video. Okay, so for me today, we sustainability is the most important element also for the brand and we all have to take care about sustainability when we create a new brand. And again, I'm very happy to see this kind of innovative uh, product for the Beauty World Awards using sustainable products, sustainable ingredients. And I think today it's the most important and we have to create, we have to design and we have to bring into the market some kind of innovative, sustainable uh, product. And again, I'm very proud to see this kind of product and the work done by the brands today uh, to reach the level of good product and sustainable product. And the winner of Natural Product of the Year in Beauty is Floral Infusion Multitasking Oil by Terra Beauty Bars. Congratulations to Terra Beauty Bars. I cannot believe that we have won another award. This is so exciting and amazing. Our team is 100% dedicated to natural beauty in skin and nail care. And to be recognized by Beauty World is an honor. Thank you to our Terra team and the family. Thank you to the judges and thank you Beauty World. During this challenging year, some niche product companies have had the opportunity to grow from a few thousands to hundreds of thousands of customers. The secret is all in how you do it. Before listing the finalists for this award category, let's hear from one of our sponsors. Mulhausen is proud to support the Middle East Award Week of Beauty World and is particularly happy to reward the winner of the Niche Product of the Year fragrance category. The story of Mulhausen is grounded in the mix of a starter cultures. It's also for such reason that, always recognizing innovation and excellence as essential guideline principles, Mulhausen supports niche perfume and the creation of unique and original products of superior quality controlled and certified in every part of the world. Events and awards of this kind, therefore, are more than welcome. 
so as to share our experiences and jointly prospect new scenarios for the world of fragrances. In current times, uh, we really need it. Grazie. Our finalists for niche products in fragrance are Boisicar by Atelier des Ors, Odect by Odect, Strada Parfumerie by Strada Parfumerie, Stories Number no. Two Eau de Parfum by Stories Parfum, Queer Curcuma by Affinissance. And what do the judges think about and consider when trying to assess a winner? Let's take a look. The jury find in the all of the final submission had a wonderful, unique brand story. And the niche producers were truly great ambassadors for the fragrance industry. This category is really important because it celebrates the artisan and fine craft in our industry. This award category will reward the most original fragrance with a niche positioning. That's to say, a brand with a limited number of SKUs destined to assist sales distributed through an extremely selective and high quality distribution network. Without further ado, the niche product of the year in fragrance is Boisicard by Atelier des Ors. Congratulations to Atelier des Ors. I believe they are online now with us. Let's hear from Atelier des Ors. I would like to thank Beauty World uh, Middle East Award for uh, granting uh, Atelier des Ors such an amazing award. Uh, obviously, I also would like uh, to share it and to thank uh, all of my colleagues at Atelier des Ors and especially Marie Salamine, our perfumer, who designed such a great uh, fragrance. Um, it's a very uh, special award for me because, as you may know, I call uh, Dubai my second home because I lived there for 10 years. So to get that award here, it's a, it's a special achievement for me. And uh, also for Boisica because uh, it's about my years. I spent 10 years in the cigar world. Uh, so all in all, it's an amazing award. So thank you very much, uh, Beauty World Midwest. We are still in the world of niche products and this time with a focus on beauty. Let's look at the finalists for this awards category. Beard Scent, Barber of Athens by Oak Berlin GmbH. Skin MTX Peptide Serum Plus by Bell Wave Cosmetics. Cisper Hair Revitalizing Serum by Juilliard. Butta Complete Skin Kit by Butta by Dorian. Nouvelle Galash by Nutra Cosmetic, GmbH. Sienna X, the facial polish by Sienna X. Snow Rose Revitalized Serum by Face Labo Co. Limited. The judges will be looking at the concept, brand story, and differentiation to select the winner. Let's see what they have to say. Niche product is, is, is the gateway for the future. And uh, uh, this is... Uh, what tells you uh, what this industry will look like a few years ahead. What started five years ago as, as an issue product, it became a trend three years ago, and it is now a well-established product. And this is how it goes with this industry. It's all a start with niches and, and unique product here or there, and it's becoming very common elsewhere uh, after a few years. After more than one round of deliberating the finalists, will be happy to announce who the winner is. And the winner of the niche product in beauty is Snow Rose Revitalized Serum by Face Labo. Congratulations to Face Labo Co. Let's get the winners online. First of all, I'd like to thank you very much for your consideration and the nomination for our Snow Rose product. It is a tremendous honor to receive this award because Beauty World Middle East is very important and exciting event for our overseas business. Everyone at Faith Level has worked so hard to create this unique and original product, including Hokkaido Rose Farmers, our researchers, formulators, um, designers, and our production team. 
We all know 2020 has been so tough year for everybody, but we are so excited to see you all again in Dubai in 2021. Congratulations once again. Now let's look at the last category for the day, which is Cult Classic. This award category will reward the best product available for purchase in the Middle East. The jury members will look at the market penetration and length of presence in the market to select the finalists. Our finalists are for Cult Classic. OPI Nail Lacquer by OPI. Lash Perfect by Wellbe Trading LLC. Natural Strip Lashes by Ardell. Dehn Al Oud Natural Spray by Dakhil Oud. Supremacy Silver by Afnan Perfumes LLC. A very cool category to be considered for, and I'm sure that the competition was intense, and so were the judges. We, the jury, found all of the finalists in this category were very well known and the cult classic category is a very important category as it recognises the products which have the ability to stay relevant through the course of time. All of the finalists have contributed to the beauty industry and it was tough but we managed to pick one winner. I'm always glad to see a deserving winner but these decisions are always difficult with so many great products to choose from. The winner of the Cult Classic Award is OPI Nail Lacquer by OPI. Congratulations and well done, OPI. So we're extremely excited and both humbled to be receiving this year's award. Um, on behalf of the OPI family, I'd like to thank the panel of judges and Beauty World for choosing us as this year's winner. We hope that it'll keep reinforcing our image in the Middle East and in the world as being the number one nail brand salon worldwide. A big special thank you to the OPI team at Nazi Group. I can really say that without your daily dedication and passion for the brand, this achievement would not have been possible. And lastly, to our devoted OPI tribe, we hope with OPI to keep delighting our customers and our nail professional community and to transform the world with color. Thank you so much. Congratulations once again and congratulations to all the winners. A second day of the Beauty World Middle East Awards Week 2020 is done. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for all the viewers online and for your great engagement on social media. We have just tomorrow left, so make sure you join us at the same time, 3 p.m. GST, to find out the final winners, guests, and who is our Lifetime Achievement Award winner. I'm Rami Nabil. Thank you and have a good day.